Yo guys, what is up? It is Teachers Game 2 coming to you again with another video here, and I am here right now to show you the best place that I have found on any map to get decent high level anglerfish. Now I am on Aberration, and I just jumped down from the edge one so you can kind of see how I get here. This is on an official PvP server, so you're going to notice that, well, there's a little bit of lag, so I do apologize about that. But, it's really not that hard to find. All you're going to do is fly straight across. Again, I'd like to, you know, notice this bright green rock drake because it's just beautiful. Got super lucky with it. I usually turn my light on when I get nearby so that way I don't draw anyone's attention because light is really easy to see. Now, yes, there are some crabs in this location, but that's pretty much all you have to kill. Once you have killed all the crabs, um, there's probably about 10 to 15 different sets of anglerfish down here. Now, this is a pretty poopy rock drake. I just like the color of it. Let's see what crab this is. Oh, 55. Not too bad. Now I can shoot it with my, uh, maybe I'll just do it this way. Compound bow, this bad boy. Okay, there's one down. That's a 130, hello. It's not a bad crab, actually. I should tame it, because we have a trap right here, but I just feel lazy right now. I'm here for anglerfish. So, literally, the only thing you're going to have to kill is a Carquinhos, and that's really the only dangerous thing. Sometimes there's Baryonyx nearby. Oh my goodness, he picked me. Well, in case you ever have that happen, you can use a grapple hook, but I just use the compound bow because crabs take reduced damage to um, guns, but they do not take reduced damage to anything that is a uh, bow, which is super nice. So a decent compound bow will get you out of the grips of any crab. A 135? What is going on right now? I guess this is the place to tame some high-level crabs too. Maybe I'll show you guys how to use my duo trap here tame two, three, four, five crabs at the same time. But again, the only thing that's hard... Oh my goodness, what is going on here? Alright guys, so I killed those three crabs, and I am at the end of the river just to show you the exact coordinates of this thing. You can see it right here. 72-ish, give or take 50-ish on the blue zone. And it's a pretty good spot. Um, you'll notice there are literally trapped anglers right underneath me. All you have to do is get in the water and knock them out. I don't know what level these are. So this is an official server. It's a 50, not a very good one. That's eh, a 140. I'll take that all day. So they do have a decent torpidity timer. So you can literally stand safely up here. What the heck? Flag. There it goes. And you'll notice they can't even come up to attack you. They can't do anything. They just run. So it'll try and come over to you if it can, but um, you just have to sit down here and knock it out. Pretty easy. It uh, doesn't really get much easier than this. This one's a really pretty color, too. So, I'm just going to go ahead and chase this guy. It's really hard to see in this water, which is a pain in the butt, obviously. Um, and you just follow him, knock him out pretty safely, because they can't do anything or go anywhere, which is easy for taming, obviously. You want to do that. Oh, my goodness. Really hard to see in this water. I'm just going to go first person. There we go. You notice that one's running around, and usually there's a couple more that way too. Um, I just haven't looked that way. So you can just find a bunch of anglerfish really easy. This one's super pretty though, my goodness. There's three of them right here, so that's not too bad. Oh, unconscious on that guy. Let's go ahead and knock this bad one out, 140. And again, you'll notice oh, 135 and a 140. Yes, please. They're trapped in here, so they literally can't go anywhere. Ooh, I am suffocating. But they're trapped in here, so all you have to do is bring everything you need. And as long as you've killed the crabs nearby, there is nothing dangerous that's going to come after you here. And you can't even be attacked by these things, which is the best, obviously. So Now, the better your crossbow, the better off you are. Don't worry, I'll speed through the part where I actually tame them just to show you how easy it is. I'm going to... Well, what the heck? Sometimes their hitboxes are quite poopy. And lag. Come on, let me let me go here. And every now and then, get your get that oxygen back up, and keep knocking these things out. So I'm gonna knock out all three of these guys, and we'll see which comes out with the best stats. But um, they're they're all really good actually. So I mean, first off, I like that blue one just because the blue color. I might try and breed them for that color, and it is super nice. So. Anyways, I will, uh, I'm going to knock these bad boys out, and I'll bring you back once they're tamed. 
All right, guys, and we are back. You can see just sat here, finished taming the anglerfish. Relative safety because, well, literally nothing spawns in after you've killed those couple of crabs. You're pretty good to go. There was a base here at one point in time, I realized, around that corner. But, oh well, you know, pretty safe. All you gotta do is then pick up a cryopod, cryo your anglerfish. You can even stand right here and do it because technically it's not water, but it is at the same time. Cryo that bad boy up. And we've got this guy taming out over there. There's the 135 over there. Um, there's lots of stuff. So this area is filled with anglerfish. And if you go over to that side, like just go down this river, there's another probably six or seven anglerfish. It's literally the easiest thing in the world. You don't have to go deep in the ocean. You don't have to do anything. And you can find some really high levels really quickly. You can also just kill them all. Wait 20 minutes for them to respawn in if you want some really high ones. I'm not going to complain about a 140 with decent melee and weight on it. Um, so, you know, there are worse things. So anyways, hopefully this little video helps you tame your first anglerfish because they are easy, easy, easy to tame. And especially in this spot right here because it's literally like a little angler pool, if you want to call it that. Super safe, nothing super dangerous. You can see I killed a trilobite for fun and then a salmon and a dimetrodon. So anyways, hopefully it helps you out. Teacher's Game 2, out.